Good morning, Emmanuel. My name is Jamie, and I'm going to be going through Psalm 127 this morning. I'll read it now, but don't worry, it's a quick one. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labour in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Um, so when I first read this, I was reminded quite a lot of um, what Jesus says uh, in Matthew 6. I'll just quickly summarise a bit of that. Um, so in 6, 19, Jesus talks about laying up treasures in heaven. Um, so he talks about, do not lay up your treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, um, but instead lay up yourselves treasures in heaven. Um, and he, he follows that passage with uh, the quite famous um, little section on anxiety, on not being anxious. Uh, so therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or your body, what you will put on it. Um, and that, that yeah, continues. Um, so I, I guess, yeah, when I was reading this psalm, I was just reminded of the way that Jesus talks about laying up treasures in heaven um, and the anxiety that we can get if we don't do that. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll just reread these first two verses from the psalm. Um, Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labour in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved to sleep. Um, yeah, so again, in the same way that, that Jesus is talking about the importance of, of not labouring in vain, um, we see King Solomon, who, who wrote this psalm, um, talking the same way about the just... Even, um, it talks about building up earthly treasures, um, it talks about building projects and, and protection, watching over it, defending a city, um, even just kind of earning a living. Um, all of these things Solomon declares to be in vain without God. Um, and I think that is just, it's, it's been, it's, yeah, such a good reminder for, for me and for all of us to, to, to bring everything before God. If King Solomon could say that defending his city um, wasn't would would be in vain without God, then I think that that says quite a lot about our struggles and the things that we that we worry about and are anxious over. Um, and it, it it seems like when we put these things um, on God, when we bring them before Him and lay them down before Him, um, then that is what brings this this lack of anxiety, um, which is what Jesus was talking about, and that uh, Solomon mentioned as well here. That we it's, he, Solomon calls it eating the bread of anxious toil, um, and yeah, we're we're not called to that. We're called to bring these things before God. Um, anything that we are anxious about, um, we are called to bring before Him. Um, and then the the second the second little half of this psalm uh, talks about children being a heritage and a reward from God. Um, I just thought the word reward there is quite striking. It's yeah, children are a reward. Um, of course, <laughs> it's it's easy for me to say. I guess um, I don't seem I don't have any yet. But I guess that that's not often how it, we can think of. Of children sometimes um, yeah so it's just an incredible reminder they are from God um, the children that people that parents are given are from God um, and they're a reward uh, and again so then the same truth applies to them um, applies to parenting of children and caring for them uh, it's just calling to, to bring them to God um, and, and let him look after them and care for them um, and yeah so all of this I think 
comes into the context of uh, this psalm and why Solomon was writing it. Um, and you can see at the top of the psalm it, it says, uh, just a quick, a song of ascents. Um, so this is one of the songs that uh, Solomon wrote to um, as he was as he was coming before God on on his way to the temple as they had processions um, leading up to this to, to him going into the temple um, and this is how he was preparing his heart before meeting God before coming to worship God um, and I just think that's such an amazing example that we can follow um, so yeah uh, let me just yeah pray that for us this morning um, yeah Lord please help us to be like Solomon um, like Jesus Lord to be able to bring uh, anxieties before you to to have this understanding of just the getting our priorities right Lord of being able to bring everything we have to you and laying it all down before you Lord um, we thank you for everything that we have been given we acknowledge that nothing that we have is is through our own effort or work lord but we praise you and thank you for everything that you have given us lord amen hope you all have an amazing day